Why don't we start with, hi, I'm Buffy. Hello, Slayers. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is a compilation reaction of Buffy season one, my favorite show. Gotta represent. Can't believe you can't see her down here. So the thing is, I attempted to do a reaction channel without knowing how to do a reaction channel. So you just gotta bear with the sound. But like the more you get into it, you kind of forget about it. Plus the last three episodes will be filmed now in my good quality so just hang in there you know guys this is my favorite show Buffy the Vampire Slayer season one honestly I was also in a pretty dark depression during this time and you could see like the first two episodes like really gave me life give me life and I kind of like flatlined but it was also because of the reaction I was getting but like Looking back at the footage now, like, I understand, like, what I did wrong, and now I'm here to slay all day. Yeah, stay tuned for Buffy content. I'm gonna react to the Slayer's Audible series in the Buffy verse, Cordelia the Vampire Slayer. Are you kidding me? No. Yeah, so grab a snack, because this is a long one, baby. If you'd like to join my Patreon, you can get the unlisted link to episodes 3 to 9. And then the last three episodes will be an exclusive Patreon with the more unedited, unfiltered reactions. But if you like the YouTube edit, let's get into it. Fun facts and just basically to vibe, honestly. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is what made me who I am today, which I don't know, but we're just going through the motions. If you get it, you get it. Which is what led me here. I feel like I should have done this from the dawn of time. So let's get into episode one of what I would say is the best show ever. This is called Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Welcome to the Hellmouth. Look, I started watching Buffy when I was eight, nine, I'm almost 30, and we're still here. There is a chosen one. She alone will stand against the vampires, the demons, and the forces of darkness. She is the Slayer. So what's so sick and iconic about this scene is it really sets you up to think that Darla is the damsel in distress. What makes Joss Whedon so incredible is he always has that surprise element to everything, and I'll explain that more as we get into it. The first one, starting off with Darla and some college dude, and you totally think that he's gonna be the bad one out of the two, and you bitches are wrong. <laughs> I don't want to go up there. What was that? Maybe, uh, maybe it's something. Well, maybe it's something. It's not funny. Hello? Hello? There's nobody here. Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay. And into the intro. What's really cool about that too is that's the whole thing of what Buffy is. Like, Buffy is the girl you think that's gonna die first, but here they flip everything on the head. And now we see that very, like, normally in shows, but like, Buffy was really like the blueprint. Yes, there was Xena, but who's talking about Xena? And I don't think it had that depth that Buffy had in the sense of taking demons and making them metaphoric for like life bad shit you know <laughs> little sarah michelle geller i'm up mom she's 20. don't want to be late for your first day we didn't want that and sarah michelle geller is 20 here playing 16 years old huh. i visited torrance high school i actually have a vlog i'll link it i know you're gonna make friends right away just think positive and buffy and honey Trying not to get kicked out? I promise. Nicholas Brendan. I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, okay. he did that stunt, which is pretty iconic. Oh. Can you help me outside, please? Be my study buddy. buddy. Well, what's in it for me? The shiny nickel. nickel. I'm sure you should check it out. Check it out? From the library? He where the books live. Hey, Jesse, what's what? New, New girl. girl. That's right, I saw her. Pretty much a hottie. Since we know better. New girl. New girl. 
Welcome to Sunnydale. A clean slate, Buffy. That's what you get here. What's past is past. Joss Whedon said in the commentary of this that this was the scene that made him be like, wow, she's truly a star. Because she doesn't have to say anything in this scene. It's written all on her face. Her reaction shots are flawless. Mr. Flutie. All the kids here are free to call me Bob. Bob. But, but they, they do. don't. I know my transcripts are a little colorful. colorful. Wasn't that bad. You burned down the gym. I did. I really did. But here, I mean, that gym was full Ooh, of vampires. Right. Asbestos. Asbestos. Hey, Connor. Can I have you? Can I help you? Uh, can I help? Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe at school. Since, Since we, we both, both. both. <laughs> go, there. go there. Great. We both go to school. Very suave. Very not pathetic. Oh, Honestly, hey. like. Hey, you forgot your steak. Do you like Buffy's outfit? If you look at the map on and this popular plague led to what social changes? Steve? Steve? I'm Cordelia. I'm Buffy. Cordelia is like my favorite character. Bitchy high school aesthetic is me. She's just hilarious. So you're from Hemery, right? In LA? Yeah. Oh, I would kill to live in LA. That, that close, close to, to that many shoes? <laughs> You have to test your coolness factor. You're from LA, so you can skip the risk. But let's see. Vamp nail polish. Over. Over. So, so over. over. Jane Spader. He, he needs, needs to call, call me. Frappuccinos. Trendy, Trendy but tasty. tasty. John Tesh. The, the devil. devil. That was pretty much a gimme, but you passed. Oh, good. <laughs> Willow. Nice. Nice dress. dress. Good to know you've seen, seen the softer side of Sears. Oh, well, well, my mom picked it up. No wonder you're such, such a guy, guy magnet. magnet. Are, Are you, you done? done? <laughs> Love Willow. If you want to fit in here, the first rule is no, know your, your losers. Oh, that part. I used to break my fucking heart when I was a kid. I don't know why. I mean, I do know why. I mean, I'm sitting here laughing, but it's just like so funny. So, um, I'll see you at gym, and you can tell me absolutely everything there is to know about you. Great. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> That's so funny because you would really think like she was engaged, but she was like dying. Hello. Miss Summers, I'm Mr. Giles, the librarian. I was told you were coming. That's not what I'm looking for. That's not what I'm looking for. Are you sure? I'm way, I'm way sure. sure. New kid? She seems kind of weird to me. And what kind of name is Buffy? Hey, Aphrodisia. Oh, hey. Well, the chatter in the cast is that she got kicked out, and that's where her mom had to get a new job. No. Nay. Pause. She was starting fights. Nay, Like Lee. Well, I was in blue, and she said it's... I love how she says what kind of name is Buffy, and then they're like, hey, aphrodisiac, whatever her name is. Uh, hi. Willow, right? Why? I mean, uh, I mean hi. hi. Why don't we start with, hi, I'm Buffy, and uh, then let's segue directly into me asking you for a favor. But aren't you hanging, hanging out, out with Cordelia? Cordelia? I can't do both. Not legally. Not legally. Look, I really want to get by here, new school, and Cordelia's been really nice to, to me, me. <laughs> anyway, but um, we could meet in the library. Or not. Or we can meet someplace quieter. Louder. Louder. Uh, that place just kind of gives me the Wiggins. Oh, it has that effect on most kids. And the new librarian is really cool. He's new. He was a curator at some British museum or, or the, the British, British museum. museum. I'm not sure. But he knows everything and he brought all these historical volumes and biographies. And am I the single dullest person alive? Not at all. Hey, you guys busy? We're interrupting? We're interrupting. Hey. Buffy, this is Jesse and that's Xander. Oh, me and Buffy go way back. Old friends. Very close. Pepper spray is just so passe. Gee, everyone wants to know about me. How, How keen? keen. Are these guys bothering you? Uh, no. Hey, Cordelia. Oh, please. <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt your downward mobility, but I just wanted to tell you that you won't be meeting Coach Foster, the woman with the, the chest, chest hair, hair, because Jim was canceled due to the extreme dead guy in the locker. What are you talking about? Some guy was stuffed in Aura's locker. locker. Dead. Totally, totally dead. dead. Way dead. dead. So it's not just a little, little dead, dead, then. Don't you have an elsewhere to be? How did he die? I don't know. Well, were there any marks? More than much. I, I didn't, didn't ask. ask. Guys, okay. I love this show. Got... You don't understand. I got a book. I'll, I'll see you guys later. What's her deal? Just a casual break in. Ooh. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. What's the stitch? Sorry? Isn't that bizarre? Aren't you just going, ooh? I didn't think there'd be vampires on campus. And I don't care. And why are you here? To, to tell, tell you, you that, that I, I don't, don't care. care? Which, I don't. 
and have, have now, now told, told you. you. So, bye. Bye. To make you a vampire, they have to suck your blood. And, and then, then you, you have, have to suck their, their blood. blood. It's, it's like, like a, a whole, whole big, big sucking thing. thing. Mostly, they're just going to kill you. Why am, why am I still, still talking, talking to you? To each generation, the Slayer is born. One girl in all the world, a chosen one, one born with a strength, strength and skill to hunt the vampires, to stop the spread of their evil blah, blah, blah. I've heard it, okay? I really don't understand this attitude. You've, you've, you've accepted your duty if you've slain vampires before. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact. Uh, and I've both, both been, been there and, there and done, done that. that. And I'm moving on. Fun fact, this was the first scene that Joss Whedon wasn't on set, and Buffy's Sarah Michelle Gellar's amazing intuition knew that the scene, there was something off with it, she felt like she went too hard. All her scenes, films like six months later, three shot. Yeah, she was too like aggressive and they wanted it to be like more like relaxed or whatever, but she still comes off very aggressive, which I think is funny. Prepares me for what? For getting kicked out of school? For losing all of my friends? For having to spend all of my time fighting for my life and never getting to tell anyone because I might endanger them? Go ahead, prepare me. The like her acting from the beginning slays. What? What? There's a reason why you're here and a reason why it's now. Because now is the time my mom moved here. Such a sick idea, having the evil under the high school. Like, high school is hell. So amazing. I used to be so, so good, good at this. this. Are you all going She's out 16. Tonight? She used to be so good at this when she was 14. Yeah, I'm going to a club. Oh. Will a there club. be boys there? No, no mom. It's, it's a men club. My first crush. My gay awakening. I used to think it was so cool how she like jumped up here. And then like they never really like gave us more of the like acrobat. Which like I guess looking back it makes it less cheesy. Yeah, that's a problem. problem. Why, Why are you, you following me? me? I know what you're thinking. Don't worry. I don't bite me. Who are you? Let's just say I'm a friend. Well, maybe I don't want a friend. Yeah, well, maybe I don't want a friend. I didn't say it was yours. I didn't say it was yours. I really wish the Browns existed around here, or a place like this existed around here. Well, not such a young one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it was, I guess, because I was in my pop era, as always. I didn't appreciate these songs until, like, now. I wish, like, I kind of got into the music. I never gleaned into it because it's so not Britney Spears vibes. I really do appreciate all this music, and it really does play such a part in the show. I thought Xander was gonna show up. Oh, are you guys going out? No, we're just friends. We used to go out, but we woke up. How come? He stole my Barbie. Oh, we were five. When I'm with a boy I like, it's hard for me to say anything cool or, or witty or at all. I, I can usually make a few vowel sounds and then I have to go away. Same. It's not that bad. No, it yes, is. It is. I think boys are more interested in a girl who can talk. You really haven't been dating lately. Well, that was right. Probably easy. My philosophy, do you want to hear my philosophy? Okay. Yeah, I do. Life is short. Life is short. Not original, I'll grant you, but it's true. Seize the moment, because tomorrow you might be dead. Oh, that's nice. Oh my god, guys, I did that recently. Check out my video, he rejected me. Um, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, well, that, that's okay, you don't have to come back. I'll, I'll be, be back, back in a minute. minute. Um, that the harvest is coming, I know. Your friend told me. What did you say? The harvest. That means something to you, because I'm drawing a blank. Who told you this? I love how, like, she comes with information. Like, it's just so well written. This guy, dark, gorgeous, in an annoying sort of way. I figured you two were buds. No. I really didn't like him. I really didn't like him. Hey, you look, you look great. Oh, I'm glad we had this little chat. <laughs> Listen, uh, you know, want to dance? You know? With you? Well, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, no. no. I didn't say I never slay a vampire. It's not like I have all these fluffy bunny feelings for them. I'm just not gonna get way extracurricular with it. You know, if I see one, sure. Hey, everybody, can you tell me if there's a vampire in this building? There's one. Maybe. You should know. Even through this mass and this dim, dim. He's got the sleeves rolled up and the shirt. Deal, Deal with, with that, that outfit, outfit for a moment. moment. Oh no. Isn't that Willow? Well, so proud of her. What a fucking arc does she go on? 
This is going to be a spoiler-free reaction, by the way. God. Cordelia, God! What is your childhood trauma? Have you guys seen Willow? Did she come by here? Why? Do you need to attack her, her with, with the stick? stick? Excuse me. I have to call everyone I have ever met, met right, right now. now. I kind of said that in a vlog recently. What did you say your name was? Darla. Darla. The master. Hey, I'm watching Buffy and reacting. I don't really know why I'm on TikTok Live, to be honest. Is that Buffy? Yes, I'm making a Buffy reaction video, but I felt like I needed people in the room. Love Buffy, oh my god, you should subscribe to my channel. I love this, yes please do. Oh my god, cool. I am Harvest. Thanks for the follow, guys. Will be restored. Sandra, have you seen my love? Not tonight, no. Why? Oh, oh hey, I... Hope he's not a vampire because then you might have to slay him. Was there a, a sign? A school bulletin? Was, was it in the newspaper? Is there anyone in this town who doesn't know that I'm a slayer? We don't find her, and there's gonna be one more dead body in the morning. I think I'm gonna go. Is that what you think? Is that what you think? Oh my god, Jesse! You're not going Leave anywhere. Us alone. You're not going anywhere until we fail. This is nice. nice. It's a little bare, but a dash, a dash of paint, a few throw, throw pillows. pillows. Call, Call it home. home. Who the hell are you? Now, we can do this the hard way, or, well, actually, there's just the hard way. That's fine with me. Slay queens. Here, you, you couldn't go suck, suck on some other town. town. Who are you? Don't you know? <laughs> I, don't I don't care. care. You're strong. <laughs> I'm stronger. Fun fact, episode one is the only time that they've actually filmed in a real graveyard cemetery. Think you can stop me? Stop us? Ouch. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Why that always look so like painful? I stan Sophia, the stunt double. She is an icon. She actually has a coffee shop in Georgia now or some shit. <laughs> this brings me back. <laughs> ah! To be continued. Yeah, damn. Hello to the new Slayers. Welcome to the channel. Fun fact, I've actually called my following Slayers since 2013, since I started my channel. Thank you, Angel. Thank you. Such an iconic look, too. Hey! So bouncy. Nifty. Sandra, are you okay? Man, something hit me. Look, where's Jesse? Girl grabbed him and took off. Wait. Jesse. This world is older than any of you know. Demons walked the earth. They made it their home, their, uh, their hell. But in time, they lost their purchase on this reality. Okay, this is where I have a problem. See, because we're talking about vampires. We're having a talk with vampires in it. Isn't that what we saw last night? Oh, I, I need to sit down. You are sitting down. Oh, good for me. So vampires it's are such demons. such a bad shot. The books tell the Fun fact, the cast always dreaded the library scenes because it would be a lot of, like, dialogue and stuff. Wait. For three score years, I... We had more offerings, but there was trouble. It is possible that she may be a slayer. And that would be a what? For as long as there have been vampires, there's been the slayer. One girl in all the world, a chosen one. He loves doing this part. A slayer. A slayer. Nothing here. This is useless. I think you're being a bit hard on yourself. You're the one that told me that I wasn't prepared enough of everything, and then that monster Luke came out of nowhere. <laughs> He wasn't at home. He came from behind me. He came from behind me and he didn't follow me out. The access to the tunnels is in the mausoleum. The 
girl must have doubled back with Jesse after I got out. God, God I'm so, so mentally, mentally challenged. challenged. So it's the plan. We saddle up, right? There's right. no we, okay? I'm the Slayer, and you're not. Feet on, on the, the ground. ground. When I was a kid, I thought that part was so cool. Murder, death, It's a pretty disaster. high jump for Sarah. Astro, what else? Paranormal, unexplained, natural natural disasters. Earthquake, flood. Rain of toads. Right. Rain of toads. Do you think they have any of that in the paper? It'll turn up. This is such like a real scene. Worlds just completely changed in a second. In a day. Anything that'll lead us to vamp, just... And I feel like we could kind of compare our lives to like an experience in that way, but this is on such an extreme level. Makes it not look so bad, right? Buffy doesn't want you getting hurt. I don't want you getting hurt. Well, this is just too much. I mean, yesterday my life's like, uh-oh, pop quiz. Today it's rain of toads. Yeah. No. And everyone else thinks it's just a normal day. Nobody knows. It's like we've got this big secret. We do. We do. If a girl did this whole hair and glasses look, like it would slay. They really don't like me dropping in. Why not? They really, they don't, really like don't like me. Guys, I cannot believe how nostalgic this show is for me. Well, if this harvest thing is such a suck fest, why don't you stop it? Because I'm afraid. Boo. Here. Something stupid. Anyway, he had this really, really thick yeah. neck, you and know, all I had was a little, little exacto knife. You're not loving You're this. You're not loving this story. No, actually, I find it oddly comforting. Cool is life. Of course. It's tonight. Mm. No! Yeah. It's supposed to find the syntax and match it. Make we're going to the bronze tonight? No, mm -hmm. we're going to the other cool place in Sunnydale. Of course we're going to the bronze Friday night, no cover. But, but you, you should have been, been there, there last night. night. Because I ran into Buffy, and could she be any weirder? Fun fact, Mercedes, who plays Harmony, was the youngest original cast member on the show. Why do we have to devise these programs? Isn't that, that what nerds are for? What'd she do? Uh, she's doing something, she's doing something else. else. And Cordelia is actually, like, the oldest. So anyway, running at me, screaming with a stick. I'm gonna kill you! I'm, I'm gonna, gonna kill, kill you! I swear! Who? Buffy. Buffy! The new girl? Well, she's crazed. <laughs> Did you hear about her old school? Booted. Booted. Well, I exhibit no surprise. Why was she kicked out? Uh, because she's, she's a psycho loony. loony. No, she's, no, she's not. not. What? She's, she's not a psycho. psycho. You don't even know her. Excuse me? Who gave, Who gave you permission, you permission to, to exist? exist? Do I horn in on your private discussions? No. Why? Why? Because you're boring. Finally, the nightmare ends. Okay, so how do we save it? Deliver. Deliver. Bitch. Deliver. Where's that? Oh. Delete. Jesse. Oh, no. Oh. Jesse. I don't think this is the way out. I got an idea. How about you die? You can die. Element of surprise, Joss Whedon. Alright. Sorry? I feel good, Sander. You really think he's going to be a solid core member? Remember, like, you're watching this for the first time. This is like, what? I feel strong. I'm connected, man, to everything. I he could have gone through so much with them. It's insane. That made you die. Sander the cross! Get out of my face. Still to this day, the scene gives me anxiety. Like, they really kind of close. Ah. This is so, so young Buffy, because realistically, she would slay them all. Okay, so this is one of, like, the Buffy bells. Was he dead? Worse. I'm sorry, Willow. We were too late. And they were waiting for us. At least you two are okay. At least you two are okay. Sixteen years ago, a very old, very powerful vampire came to this shore, not just to feed. A portal between this reality and the next. This vampire hoped to open it. Bring the demons back. But he blew it. Or, I mean, there was an earthquake that swallowed half the town, and him too. See? <clears throat> the amazing leather jacket. Mom. You're going out? I have to. I haven't finished unpacking and I'm getting calls from the principal. Mom, I promise it's... But I have to go. No. Mom! The tapes all say I should get used to saying it. No. No. If you don't go out, it'll be the end of the world. Everything is life or death when you're a 16-year-old girl. 
Look, I don't have time to talk about you, but all the time in the world. Iconic. Like, where is that jacket now? See you last night, following me around like a little puppy dog. You just want to put him to sleep. But senior boys, they have mystery. They have, what's the word I'm searching for? Cars. I'm just I'm not the type to settle, you know? It's like when I go shopping. I have to have the most expensive thing. Not because it's expensive, but because it costs more. You know, hello, Miss Motormouth. Can I get a sentence finished? Oh, I love this song. Come on. Dad, I love that song. Shut up. Hey! Hello? Big man brain. What are you doing? Shut up. One day. Such a bop. Guys, I wish these sets existed and I could walk through them. Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Listen up for that There one. is no cause for a lot. Wow. Did that happen? Did I miss it? Scooby's. Yes. Tonight is his ascension. Tonight will be history at its end. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Were you in the middle of something? You! You didn't think I'd miss this. Did, did you? you? You write down. Oh, this is a wow. 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 Okay, vessel boy. You want blood? You want blood? I want yours. Mm. Only yours. Works for me. Those who haven't watched this in a moment or don't know, just hold on for the fight scenes because they really get so good. Hurry! I feel like you get more of Sarah actually doing this kind of in season one, which makes sense. Jesse Man. Jesse Man. Don't make me do it. Put me out of my misery. You don't have to cut. Metal can't hurt me. There's something you forgot about too. Sunrise. Sunrise. <laughs> it's in about nine, nine hours, hours more on. <gasps> Iconic. No. Hero shot in three, two. Damn. Score one for the Slayer. But all I can tell you is they were in the ugly way of looking and thought me like we knew them, which is just too weird. <laughs> I don't even remember that much, but I'm telling you, it was a freak show. Yes, we definitely do. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, The Witch, Season 1, Episode 3. Love this episode. It is the first in the Buffy verse to kind of leave the vampire elements and kind of slowly start rolling out the demons and the forces of darkness. And she is the slayer. Woo! You don't like the color? I do To ignore everything I say as, as, as a rule. No, I believe that's your trick. I told you I'm trying out for the cheerleading squad. If you have a sacred birthright, Buffy, you were chosen to destroy vampires, not to wave pom-poms at people and as the watcher i forbid it and you'll be stopping me how 
What's this? What's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, how sweet. Yours always. Uh, it, it came that way, really. They all said that. <sighs> Just look at that, Amber. Who does she think she is? A Laker girl? I heard she turned them down. That girl's on fire! And that's the hyperbole. That's all that would have been left if it hadn't been for Buffy. Tyrion. Aren't we a team? Yeah. You're the Slayer and we're, we're, we're like, like the, the Slayer. Slayers. I just don't like putting you guys in danger. Oh, I laugh in the face of danger. Then I hide until it goes away. away. <laughs> Jeepers. Mom? Yeah? What was I trying out for? Oh, uh, some activity? I have no idea. I'm sorry. Your platitudes are good for all occasions. Buffy one is Joey Zero. Is that a snapple with the thing taken off? Wrapper? Cheapers. You saw that, right? That wasn't me. She's so pretty. Right? That's my mom. Catherine Madison. Get down with your bad self. And I can't get my body to move like hers. I choked in there so bad. No, Amy, it's fine. Hey, Amy. She knew. Is she okay? Oh, she's she's wigging about her mom, the cheer queen back then. I want to bring Wigan back. If she gains an ounce, she'd have off the fridge and we not need anything but broth. So, Mommy Dearest is really Mommy, mommy Dearest. Dearest. Fun fact, every time they're using the hallway, it's the same exact hallway. So they have to like dress it up and make it look different. Like they literally had the trophy stand in the middle of the hallway. I have a dream. It's me on the cheerleading squad, adored by every varsity male as far as the other. This is one of like her most evil moments. I can see. If your supreme clutchiness out there today takes me out of the running, you're gonna be so very beyond sorry. I think maybe they were trying to set uh, Cordelia up to be like, is she actually evil maybe? Because this one's bad in the way she's gonna slam the fucking locker. It's like vicious. Have a nice day. <laughs> I always felt iffy it. about that, oh, Amy though. Sure. Oh my god, Willow's drink. I made it. Oh. I mean it. Okay, not only did you make the tea, but you, Miss Summers, are the first alternate in Amy's number three. And what a better way to celebrate than with romantic drive through. Sander, alternates are the ones who didn't make the tea. This would never happen to my mother. I was a photo editor. I got to be on every page. Made me look much more popular than I was. And have you seen the kids that do yearbook? Nerds take on them. <laughs> In my driver, a, there was a break on the passenger side. Buffy, run! What's happening? I can't see anything! Someone doesn't like cheerleading. Or likes it too much. Amy. 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 So you guys are leaning towards Amy. Now the spell has been cast in the previous 48 hours, which is skin tones blue. When you need some eye of nude. How's Buffy doing with the hair? My science class is never Isn't like that. Isn't this exciting? Oh yeah. <laughs> Amy, help me. Um, which is the hydrochloric acid so and which funny. is the uh, ammonium hydroxide? Well, the bottle that says hydrochloric acid is usually the hydrochloric acid. Read the bottle. <laughs> Concept. Oops. Way hired the nice little witch. Xander. All set. Do you have a plan? Spill it on her. Try and make it look natural. Right behind you, Emily. For the back. Sean, can you tell me why these chemicals have this reaction? It's <gasps> Are you? Oh my god. Amy wants to freak out as the rest of us. So it's not her. The test was positive. Everyone was pretty She's sure. our Sabrina. I just don't think she realizes what she's doing. Where are you? The 
This is such a genius idea, guys. Another productive day in front of the TV. I got a history report due to For those who know. Do it. Write it. Be upstairs. Wonder what's gonna happen. That was weird. Oops. Macho, macho man. I want to be a macho man. Macho. Oh, hey, juice. I'm a macho, macho man. I want to be a macho man. Macho, macho man. The way she screamed. Is it me or is Buffy a bit loose? Yeah, before she <laughs> does that. Who's our next alternate? Oh, yes. Amy, you just made cheerleader. No, 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 you don't want her. She She's a witch. witch. A wise choice indeed. A wise choice. <laughs> Will I? I just got kicked off the team, didn't I? I don't think it's true. <laughs> well, get all these kids today. <laughs> Amy? Mm -hmm. Are you Amy? She switched. She switched your bodies, didn't she? Good lord. She wanted to relive her glory days. Show me. <laughs> I like how they went with someone that really didn't look like a witch. Like, she just looked like a regular mom. I feel better. <laughs> so smart. I was my mom. Oh. Where is she? Uh, hey, look, it's <laughs> cool. Do you ever wish you could be 16 again? Oh, that's a frightful notion. <laughs> Go through all that again? Not even if it helped me understand you. Wow, that's kind of interesting because I remember like as a kid hearing her say that and now like I totally get it. Oh, she is. I don't think we'll have to worry. I'm just happy to have my body back. Thinking of getting fat, you know? I hear that looks interesting. That always freaked me out. Like, could you imagine? <laughs> When I was young, I loved this episode. I love all witchy stuff, but it gets so much better with the witchiness. For you guys that are just watching for me, maybe hold on because it just gets better and better. Season two, it's like, feels like a whole new show, but I really do appreciate season one. I think it's so funny. So we're here with Teacher's Pet, which I can't say is a favorite, but I feel like over the years, this is all we got, 145 episodes for life, which is a blessing. Over the years, kinda grown to like the ones that I liked least because those were the ones that I was watching the least, so they feel like the newest to watch, if that makes sense, I don't know. Follow my Buffy Instagram for more Buffy and updates on this channel. <laughs> Yes, Sander. You better work. You all right? Oh, thanks to you. Will you still be able to... Finish my solo and kiss you like you've never been kissed before? <laughs> Forgot about this. Go off, Sander. <laughs> Santa, you've got a little 
a little buffy. There are ants. If you read the homework, you there, should yeah. know the two ways that ants communicate. Miss Summers. Ways that ants communicate. I smell with other ants. From the homework, ants are communicating. Um, a, a touch. Mm -hmm. And no. Bo. <laughs> Thank God, someone finally found the courage to mention that. That would be touch and smell, Miss Summers. Thank you, Ruth. <laughs> Miss Rosenberg. Is there anything else Miss Rosenberg would like to tell you? We Can't love a call out by the teacher moment. Scene. It's they're always so like. You got a, you got a few problems at your last school. Sorry. Don't be sorry. Be smart. Be and better, bitch. To, let's make him eat that permanent record. Okay. I say, you're Thanks. dead. You're... How many times you score? You're cold. You can take it. Mm. Look cold. Right. Give her your jacket. What happened? I didn't pay attention. To somebody with a big fork? He's coming. The fork guy. Don't let him corner you. Sweet dreams to you, too. Oh, I wish I could have edited that. What happened? Is he sick? They didn't say anything about sick. Something about missing. He's missing. Well, let me think. Gert, I kind of got... Yeah. Yeah, they said missing. He's one of the only teachers that doesn't think Buffy's a felon. I'm really sorry. I'm sure he'll... They did a good casting job. Could you help me? I feel like uh, she looks uh, like one, if that makes sense. In yes. Way. I'm looking for science 109. Blaine Mall. I'm going there right now. His notes tell me you were right in the middle of insect life. The praying mantis is a fascinating creature. Forced to live alone. After I have Buffy? sex with a guy, I will rip their well, heads off. the words bug ugly kind of spring to mind. <laughs> there is nothing ugly about these unique creatures. The California mantis lays her eggs and then finds a mate to fertilize them. Once he's played his part, she covers the eggs in a protective sack and attaches it to a leaf or twig out of danger. Excuse you. Medically prescribed lunch, my doctor shifts it daily. I'll only be here as long as I can hold my breath. <laughs> I've never seen anything like You're more upset about this than Jesse. Who would want to hurt Dr. Gregory? Well, we're gonna find out who did this. We'll find them and we'll stop them. You went hunting last night? Yes. When you assured me, you wouldn't. Yes, I lied. I'm a bad person. Let's move on. Do you know Miss French, the teacher that's subbing for Dr. Gregory? Yes, yes, she's lovely. In a, a common, extremely well-proportioned way. Well, I'm chasing Claw Guy last night, and Miss Well-Proportioned is heading home. But Claw Guy takes one look at her and runs screaming for cover. What? Ran away? He was petrified. Of Miss French? Uh-huh. So I'm an undead monster that can shave with my hand. So what's her deal? I think perhaps it would be a good idea if we kept an eye on her. And I better get to class. I kind of can't believe how not blonde Buffy's hair is in season one. I don't hate it. I'm just like, it's actually surprising because like the whole thing was the blonde thing. Stay away from D words altogether, but you witnessed the event, so this way, please. Well, no, I'm going to be late for biology. Extremely late. No, so, you have to talk to a counselor and start the healing. You have to heal. No, Mr. Flutie, I do Heal. <laughs> You. I don't know what to say. It was really, I mean, one minute you're in your normal life, and then who's in the fridge? It really gets to a thing like that. I think you meant pollination for number 14. Say what? I'll see you here after school. <laughs> oh, great, a pop quiz. I'm not saying she craned her neck. We are talking full-on full exorcist, exorcist twist. twist. Ouch. Which reminds me, how come Blaine, who worked with her one-on-one -on -one yesterday, isn't here today? I don't suppose you'd like to come to my place tonight to work on it there. 7.30? Here's my address. That's a funny edit. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> Thank you.
shoot, they said kill those bugs. The praying mantis can rotate its head 180 degrees while waiting for its next meal to walk by. Ha! Really listen, okay? I don't think she's human. I see. So if she's not human, she's... Technically, a big bug. <laughs> it's not have... at all. I completely understand. I've met someone, and you're jealous. What? Look, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, there's just a certain chemical thing between Miss French and me. I know. I read all about it. It's called, um, a pheromone. It, it's a chemical attractant that insects give off. She's not an insect. She's a woman, okay? And hard as that may be for you to conceive, an actual woman finds me attractive. I realize it's no mystery guy handing out leather jackets. And while we're on the subject, what kind of a girly name is Angel, anyway? What does it have to do? Nothing. It just kind of bugs me. Look, I really bugs. gotta... Get bugs. What? Get back in. He's literally back in. Martini? Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like something else? <laughs> have you ever been with a woman before? No. Uh -uh. I know. It's incredible who he I loses his virginity to. Oh, I like Pretty it. Pretty legendary, if you, you ask might me. You say, your hands are really serrated. Yeah. Oh, well, then, Martini, I... Really think. Okay, I, I don't... Oh, God. Oh, God. Are you all right? What does she do? Oh, God. I can't believe oh, the... Wait! He actually had sex What does she do? She, she... She... She takes you out of the cage and she ties you up and... She... Mom, Buffy! <laughs> what is it? This is her, isn't it? This is her house! Like what happens to your nervous system when you hear this? Extremely important to file, not simply alphabetically. Child! It's the wrong side. <laughs> yeah, that's not Sophia. She would never. Just for the record, you were right. I'm an idiot, and God bless you. You okay? <laughs> It's so unfair how she only went after virgins. <laughs> <laughs> what? About that. I heard a rumor there was uh, one less vampire walking around making a nuisance of himself. Anyway, you can have your jacket back. Looks better on you. Oh boy. Okay, so as for like how silly like that episode may be, it's like still a good idea and like really intense. I'm honestly inspired. I don't know if I really mentioned this. I'm writing a supernatural like book series, a vampire werewolf type thing, obviously heavily inspired by Buffy. And I think like in the background of my thoughts while watching that, I was kind of like connecting the dots of like what I need to do to move my story along. Love this episode. It's iconic. <laughs> We have been properly introduced. I'm Buffy, and you're history. This feels so early, Buffy, right now. That's great. I kill him. You fence their stuff. What is it? I don't know. But it bothers you. Yes. I best consult my books. The anointed, the master, the great annoying one, warrior, and the slayer will not know him, will not stop him, and he will lead her into hell. Symbol in the ring. What about this? On the inside, it's a sun and three stars. Wait, it's right here. Sun and three stars. Check these guys out. I told you it looked familiar. It's all right. Ooh, two points for the slayer, while the watcher has yet to score. Oh, Owen. Hi. I lost my Emily Dickinson. It's dumb, but I like her around. So, Emily Dickens, huh? She's great. Dickinson. She's good also. I'm surprised you gave any thought to what I'm like. You shouldn't be. I love books. What's this? Oh, that one. one. This one, she doesn't love her. Oh, that was Owen. Yes, I remember. Oh, does this outfit make me look bad? So Buffy had this lingo last night. Santa? I mean... I mean, how the, the lingo. lingo. No, I don't mean that either. Good luck. And don't fuck it up. Oh. Oh. Thanks. Meet there at eight. Yeah, eight. It says he will rise from the ashes of the five on the evening of the thousandth day after the advent of Septus. Well, we'll be ready whenever it is. Which is tonight. Tonight, okay. Not okay. It can't be tonight. My calculations are precise. 
They're bad calculations. Bad. Buffy has a really important day. Owen. The dark forces are aligning against us, and we have a chance to beat them back. Tonight, we go into battle. <laughs> Perhaps I'm miscalculated. I'm thinking yes. I go to the bronze and find Owen. Dun, dun, dun. So you just went home. What was I supposed to do? Yeah, a lot of guys read. I can read. Owen. Where were you last night? My watch broke, and we don't have any clocks in our house, and so I didn't know what time it was or even what day it was. I thought I was the one. How about we try it again for tonight? I'll even lend you my watch. Tonight? You, you and me? Well, we could invite the chess club. Uh, sort of heard that you and Cordelia were somewhat all over each other. A little. I danced with her a couple times. <laughs> She's kind of grabby. Oh, well, let's see. If I rearrange that and I wish that to know. Sure. Tonight. I'll pick you up at seven? Um, seven. See. Yes, well, there are quite a few interpretations. So, tonight's looking pretty slow, right? Probably best to relax and regroup. No big disasters coming. That is so good. I will see you tomorrow, then. Bye! <laughs> Very strange girl. She is the strangest girl. That's Owen. That's Giles. We need to talk. Buffy's not home. My calculations may not have been as far off as I thought. Five die in van accident? Out of the ashes of five. He may be the anointed one. Uh, the, the, the bodies have been taken to, to Sunnydale Funeral Home. We can... Giles, why do you want to hurt me? I beg your pardon? <laughs> hey. Uh, hi. You have a date. Yes, but I will return those overdue books by tomorrow. Hey, you're not getting off that easily. And you really care about your work. Uh, Owen? Yeah, a couple of things about tonight. If the apocalypse comes, beat, beat me. Is everything cool? All set. Go to the funeral home in case, just see if anything comes. This is bad. I wish it was just bad. We should go along. Yeah, you're right. I don't trust that Owen guy. It's the eyes. Crazy. Senator, we should go with Giles. He could get in trouble. Oh, he's gone. It's, it's, he's gonna be all right. He's like super librarian, you know? Everyone forgets, Willow, that knowledge is the ultimate weapon. Cordelia, I'm here with Buffy. Oh, okay. You and Dan? Cordelia Owen and I would like to be alone right now, and for that to happen, you would have to go somewhere that's okay. Ah! Did the obvious purpose looks like a job for Buffy? Uh, she has a... Uh... A beeping thing. I mean, I've never seen a girl throw herself at a guy like that. Oh. Hello, salty goodness. To this day, whenever I see an incredibly hot guy, I will say... Hello, salty goodness. Angel. Amazing. Why is this happening to me? I was hoping I'd find you here. You're here on a date? Yes. Why is it such a shock to everyone? Ugh. <laughs> oh. He's so fucking hot. Owen, this is Angel. Angel, this is Owen. Who is my date? Uh, excuse me, what are any of you doing here? Look, we gotta get to, uh... Oh, we thought it'd be fun if uh, we made this a double date. Maybe we should all go somewhere together. Gee, that's so nice of you to ask, but Owen and I were, well, sort of... Owen, Owen and I. You know what'd be cool? The Sunnydale Funeral Home. I've always wanted to go there. <laughs> Funeral Home. Actually, that sounds kind of cool. Do you think we could all sneak in? Buffy, what's the deal? Do you want to bail on? No, no, no. Angel. Sorry, guys, I had to stop and let's proceed. Ooh, she's the strangest girl. This is so cool. Uh, Owen, you can't be here. Oh, and I suppose you guys are allowed? What are we doing here? Are we going to see a dead body? Possibly several. Guys, watch him. Child! For good. All the brethren came in here. They came after me. Anointed may be long gone. But he may not be. I just need to get Owen and the others out of harm's way first. Owen? You can't make him go out there alone. We don't know where the brethren are. Great job. Hearts. Fun. Keep looking. He must be here somewhere. Uh, nothing. I mean, realistically... Anointed must be gone. Why would they be in there? I've never really seen a dead body before. Do they usually move? Uh, 
Exactly what you had in mind for a first date. I'll get you there. No. I'll, I'll go to law. I'll make sure he gets home safely. Oh my God. He doesn't want to hang out with Buffy. Buffy, if I might. Uh... Don't. Don't. Hi. So that's why you want to be with me. Well, absolutely. Uh, when could we do something like that again? Tonight would be. Not a workable thing. Did I just say that? It's not you, it's me. Right. Yeah. Great. You, Xander, Willow, you guys, you guys know the score. You're careful. Two days in my world and no one really would get himself killed. Or I'd get him killed. I was like, yeah, what made that different? But thanks for clarifying that. Or someone else. I went to the funeral home of my own free will. And I should have been there. Buffy. I blew it. I have volumes of law. We feel our way as we go along. And uh, I must say, as a slayer, you're, you're doing... Oh, I'm getting chills. I love this scene because it's, like, actually relatable. Like, even though she's talking about being a vampire slayer. Like, how... This show is incredible. Pretty well. I have chills everywhere. And the slayer will not know him. She will not stop him, her into hell. Great little lad. Welcome, my friend. I remember back in like, I guess 2003 or 4, where the complete box set came out and in the flap. If I was home right now, I would get it. Joss Whedon did his top 10 favorite episodes that he directed, and shockingly to me, this is one of them. This was an episode that like wasn't really my favorite, so I watched like the least. And I did find in like more recent years that I actually do like this episode. Let's get into it. Elephant I need a house. Starting strong with this Buffy look. Very casual. Perfect for high school. Perfect for the zoo trip. It's Buffy and all her friends. That's a witty. Do you ever wonder why nobody cool ever wants to hang out? It's giving LA Buffy. <laughs> Just thank you. Were you this popular at your old school? Before you got kicked out? She might beat you up. <laughs> you got that fucking right. You don't think we should follow? Kyle, oh, one more stuff limits. It's a quarantine. These hyenas just came in from Africa, so keep out. <laughs> Back to the bronze. Buffy wearing Angel's leather jacket. I didn't notice anything. But then again, I'm not as hyper aware of him as oh, say, for example, you. I'm not constantly monitoring. You got it bad, girl. It makes my head go too good. Buffy looks really pretty. Dangerous and mysterious older man whose leather jacket you're wearing right now. It goes with the shoes. Come on, Angel pushes your buttons. You know it does. I suppose some girls might find him good looking. If they have eyes. All right, he's a honey, but he's just, he's never around. And when he gets, all he wants to do is talk about him. Okay, now what? Took a bath. Yeah, I, I often do. I'm actually known for it. <laughs> That's okay. Great. So we get monkeys. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't you be hovering over the football stadium with Goodyear in? That's enough training for one day. Well, that last roundhouse was kind of sloppy. Are you sure you want to do it again? No, you just run along to class. Huh. 
While I wait for the feeling to return to my arms. <laughs> Guess what this is, guys. I love that she's not oh, afraid of Herbert. it. Kate Mr. Flutie quite a scare, didn't he? Herbert, our new mascot for the Sunnydale High Razorbacks. So see? Razorbacks, the Razorbacks, we're gonna scare play. We got a secret weapon and his name is RJ. If you know, you know. Do you have a headache? Yeah, I think I know what's causing it. We Watch can finish yourself. this another time. See, it's full of Xander school. acting a little strange. There's a just me. Oh I would love to ask Sarah Michelle Geller about the pig if she remembers it. Probably not. <laughs> I love this scene. Did you guys ever play dodgeball in high school? Totally not allowed anymore, but we actually did. I love that Willow actually is in it for a while, and then that happened. What you gonna do? Where the hell is the teacher? God, this game is brutal. I love it. I forgot about that. Xander, what's wrong with you? Scene is so horrible. And, well, we've been friends for such a long time that I feel like I need to tell you something. I've decided to drop geometry. So I won't be needing your math help anymore, which means I won't have to look at your pasty face again. That was Xander's laugh. I didn't think there was v-necks in the 90s. Wait, what but I wouldn't think? be caught dead in a v-neck right now, by the way. Guys, skip this part. Skip ahead. I don't believe That's you. too much. <laughs> Going vegan. Cool walk. Or maybe there's something wrong with me. It's bad, isn't it? It's devastating. He's turned into a 16 year old boy. Of course, you'll have to kill him. Child, I'm serious. So Xander has been acting totally wiggy ever since we went to the zoo. Jeez. Him and Kyle, all those guys, they went into the hyena cage. Okay. Dad, you're also eaten. Principal Flutie's freaking out. Testosterone, huh? And then they started acting like hyenas. Well, only the most predatory of animals are, are of interest to primal, so, uh, yes. So what happens to the person once the spirit's in them? If it goes unchecked? I don't remember. We need to talk. You waiting for me to jump my bones? <laughs> I have seen some sick things. Months later, I like it when you're scared. The more I scare you, the better you smell. People, get down from there this instant! <laughs> Are you insane? <laughs> That's so weird that they're like cats and dogs. Hurry up, we gotta get him locked up somehow before he comes to. Oh my god, Xander, what happened? I hit him. What? Wait. A desk. He tried to hand it. Felony sexual assault. How? Is, I wonder how. Can she, she can't really be pulling him. Locked up somehow before he comes to. Oh my god, Xander, what happened? I hit him. He's dead. Did it show him? <laughs> They didn't hurt him, did they? They, uh, ate him. They ate Principal Flutie? Ate him up? The, uh, official theory is that wild dogs got into his office somehow. But Xander didn't. He, he was with you. That zookeeper could help us. We should talk to him. Okay. Oh, wait, somebody's gotta watch Xander. I will. Well, are you sure if he wakes up? I'll be all right. They're really going there in this episode. Now that the girl with the fucking baby on her back. 
Chicken is shaking baby syndrome. Yep. The baby lives. They're tired. Wakey, wakey. Willow. How are you feeling? Fab. Like somebody hit me with a desk. I think it's getting worse. But I can't just stand around waiting for Bob. I'm sorry to spoil it, but Savage Willow, hold tight. Look. Together, we could pull off a reverse transposition. Willow. 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 Please give this a thumbs up, guys, if you're enjoying this. Sandra. So scary. Don't stop, Willow. Go. attack you would feel if this was real <laughs> of that opening holy shit I'm so deep into this right now I don't know why how that played out, honestly. I think they're going. They could be faking it. No, they're hungry. They'll be looking for somebody weak. You guys go to the zoo, and I will bring them to you. I guess this is, a, like, a good episode because it's pretty, like, intense. The most thrilling thing, I feel like, that's happened since episode one. Don't play with your food. She's giving Daphne right now. Come on. This would be here when... When the children first came, why would you... Sorry, boy. How terribly frustrating for you that a bunch of school children could accomplish what you could not. Where's Giles? He's laying in wait. They're almost here. Shouldn't you bring the hyenas out? All right. You'll pretend to slash my throat and, and put the evil in the hyenas? Something like that. <sighs> Uh, I miss anything? Unless they ask what happened to the last one. Okay, but I had nothing to do with that, right? All right. You only ate the pig. Some guys holding Willow. That was all in one shot. I love that. You saved my life. Hey, nobody messes with my will. Mm. I didn't do anything else. Did I around you guys anything embarrassing? Nah. Not at all. I cannot find anything anywhere about memory loss after. Did you tell them that? Your secret dies with me. <laughs> hope you are enjoying this next episode is angel this is such a good one so this one's like very nostalgic to me the beginning of the love story buffy the vampire slayer who are you a friend you must be angel that weird guy that wondered about all the vampires the brethren from his order would come to the master to bring him the anointed who's that the anointed will be my greatest weapon against the slayer welcome my friend Blood. Zachary didn't return from the hunt last night. The slayer. Still the slayer takes him. Let me kill her for you. You have a personal interest in this. I don't get to have any fun. I will send the three. The three? So we're talking about a guy? What about Angel? Angel? Did you see him in a relationship? Hi, honey, you're in grave danger. I'll see you next month. He's not around much. It's true. But when he is around. When he is around. It's like the lights dim everywhere else. You know it's like that with some guys? Oh yeah. And she is in there. Hey, Eddie. Dino, just leave. Ouch! Please get your extreme officialness off my $200 sh- It's late. I'm tired. 
and I don't want to play games. Okay, okay, next. Okay, okay, look, I really don't want to fight all three of you unless I have to. Some of my youngest childhood memories is literally like this scene for some reason. Like it really takes me back to my basement in my big black, we had a big black box TV. It was like eight when I watched this. Good dogs. Don't. Just fucking Willow two seconds ago. Perfect gentleman. <laughs> Buffy, come on, wake up and smell the seduction. It's the oldest trick in the book. What? Saving my life? Getting slashed in the ribs? Can we steer this riveting conversation back to the events that happened earlier in the evening? It seems that you encountered the three. How is it you always know this stuff? You always know what's going on. I never know what's going on. You weren't here from midnight until six was setting it. No, I was sleeping. Uh, oh, and the three, having failed, will offer their own lives in penance. We failed in our duty, and now our lives belong to you. The master has not been doing well. Buffy hardly could beat them, and you're gonna kill them? And their death will bring me little joy. I do love that Darla does it. Sometimes a little is enough. Goodbye, My steaks. Hello, hello, flying, flying fatality. fatality. The crossbow comes later. Oh. 
Let's move on to the crossbow. Angel? Hey. What'd you do all day? I read a little. <laughs> and just thought about a lot of things. Oh, yeah. diary? My diary? You read, read my, my diary? diary? That is not okay. A diary is like a person's most private place. I, you don't even know what I was writing about. Hunk can mean a lot of things, bad things. And A doesn't even stand for Angel for that matter. It, it stands for Ahmed, a charming foreign exchange student. So that whole thing. Your father moved your diary when she came in to straighten up. I washed it from the closet. I didn't read it, I swear. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I did a lot of thinking today. I really can't be around you. No big. Water. Over the bridge. Oh, under the bridge. Badly, over the I want to kiss you. Kiss me? I'm older than you, and this can't ever. How much older? I should. Go. Guys, I think you may be a vampire. Fun fact, they would eat like really nasty things to make their breath stink during these kissing things. I always thought that was like crazy, like I would never fucking do that, but like that kind of makes her cool for that. Instead of like trying to like actually be like hot for him, I would never do that. Never. What? <laughs> What the fuck? Angel's a vampire? No. I can't believe this is happening. Can a vampire ever be a good person? Couldn't it happen? A vampire isn't a person at all. It may have the movements, the, the, the memories, even the personality of the person that he took over. But it, it, it's still a demon at the core. There is no halfway. So that'd be a no, huh? All right. Uh, you have a problem and it's not a small one. Let's take a breath. Angel's a vampire. You're a slayer. I think it's obvious what you have to do. I know you have feelings for this guy, but it's not like you're in love with him, right? You're, you're in love with a vampire? vampire? What are you out of your mind? What? what? Not vampire. How could you How love, could you love an umpire? Everyone hates him. Where did you get that dress? This is a one-of-a-kind Todd Oldham. Do you know how much this dress costs? Is this a knockoff? This is a knockoff, knock isn't it? Some some cheesy knockoff. Knock this is exactly what happens when you sign these free trade agreements. I think we have problems. Hey, Connor. <laughs> Like, imagine Charisma Carpenter, like, coming in for work that day to do that scene. Like, so amazing. All done. This little man cave. Dad, dad. Who's here? A friend. It's been a while. A lifetime. Or two, but who's counting? Remember Budapest? Turn of the century? You were such a bad boy during that earthquake. You're not one of them. <laughs> You know where I'll be. Guys, he was my gay ass awakening. That must have been so embarrassing when you thought he had read your diary, but then it turned out he hadn't, but then he felt the same way. <laughs> I'm listening. So relatable. Some 200 years ago in Ireland of, of Angelus, the one with the angelic face. I got that right. A tattoo behind his right shoulder. Yeah, it's, it's a bird or something. Now I'm saying something. You, you saw, saw him naked? naked? So, 240. Well, he said he was older. And just leaves on. I believe he technically died at like 28 years old, which is actually how old I am now. And I would never date a 16 year old like that is like weird, but it's a show and we're, he's a vampire. We're not doing that today. He lives alone, but there's, there's no, no record of him hunting here. So he is a good vampire. Sometimes. I have this fantasy that Xander's just gonna grab me and kiss me right on the lips. If you want Xander, you've gotta speak up, girl. I need to get over him so I can... So that you can... Like Xander said, I'm the slayer and he's a vampire. God, I can't. He's never done anything to hurt me. Okay, no, I need to stop thinking about this. Hello? Hi, I'm Darla. A friend of Buffy's. I, I know she's supposed to be home, so would you like to come in and wait? Would you like something to eat? Yes. I would. You feel like something little or something big? Something, something big. big. They use Sarah Michelle Gellar's scream for the mother's scream that she screamed before with Angel. <sighs> Let her go. Just say yes. 
To the window, to the wall. You're not welcome here. You come near us and I'll kill you. She's gonna be okay. Don't whimper and mule like a mangy human. Kill. Feed. All right. What do you want? I want it finished. That's good. I don't know why. The crossbow is a very good idea. Like, who has the time? It's what Spears is stuck though. It really does say Slayer. Your friend, the one who came over tonight. Donna came to your house tonight. She, she's the friend that you mentioned earlier. Poor thing, I must have frightened her half to death when I fainted. Someone should really check and make sure she's all right. Yes, yeah, someone should, right away. I'll do it. That school is amazing. I know what you are. Do you? I'm just an animal, right? You're not an animal. Animals I like. I haven't seen this episode in so long. Come on. Don't go soft on me now. Why didn't you just attack me when you had the chance? Is it a joke? To make me feel for you and then killed a lot of vampires. I've never hated one before. Feels good, doesn't it? I invited you into my home, and then you attacked my family. Why not? I killed mine. I killed their friends and their friends' children. What changed? Fed on a girl about your age. Beautiful. Dumb as a post. What a favor to her. Gypsies. The elders conjured the perfect punishment for me. They restored my soul. What, they were all out of boils and blinding torment? When you become a vampire, the demon takes your body, but it doesn't get your soul. That's gone. No conscience, no remorse. It's an easy way to live. I haven't fed on a living human being since that day. So you started with my mom? I didn't bite her. And why didn't you say something? But I wanted to. I wanted to kill you tonight. you know what the saddest thing in the world is? Bad hair on top of that outfit? To love someone who used to love you. You guys were involved for several generations. Well, you've been around since Columbus. You are bound to pile up a few exes. I made him. There was a time when we shared everything, wasn't there, Angelus? But you threw that away because of her. You're sick. And you'll always be sick. <laughs> That's the beginning of the love story. Buffy the Vampire Slayer reaction. I, Robot, Eugene. What's really cool about this episode to me, like Joss is so smart that he invented catfishing. <laughs> Weirdly, I'm reacting to this. I just got catfished. We're still getting catfished in 2022. I didn't really get catfished. Like I knew it was a catfish. And the forces of darkness, she is the Slayer. <laughs> It's 
Cecily. Caro. Me ami. Do you love me? All I want is your love. You, you have my love. Oh great. A book. Happy. Scan it. Oh, this. Jenny. Scan it. Soon you will join us in the 20th century. With three whole years to spare. Alright guys, let's wrap it up for today. I've just got a few more. I'll hang for a bit. Cool, thanks. Sander, you wanna stay and help me? Are you kidding? Yes, it was a joke I made up. <laughs> Will, I love you, but bye. See you tomorrow. Buffy, wait up. I sense a little romance. Uh-oh. Oh, I love Willow so much. No. Where am I? Shit's getting weird. Willow, hey, wait up. Buffy, I didn't even see you. Or hear me. What was up last night? Talking to you. Malcolm. Okay, that's it. You have a secret and that's not allowed. Why not? I sort of got someone. I knew oh. this is so important. What the fact that Giles is in Willow's locker, I could cry. Last week after we did the scanning project in the library. Does he go here? What's his name? Have you kissed him? What's he like? No, Malcolm, no, and very nice. We talked all night. It was amazing. Oh, what's he look like? I don't know. <laughs> Relatable. I met him online. Online for what? Oh, Buffy, are you supposed to be somewhere? No, I have a free. Cool. But this is lab time, so let's make it a nice short visit, okay? Poker? Sure. It's him. He's so sweet. He's a sweetie. What should I write back? Well, I think it's really great that you have this cool pen pal, but don't you think you're kind of rushing on into this? You know what I mean? I'm thinking of you too. No, that's incredibly stupid. Well, down girl. Let's focus here, okay? What do you actually know about this? Oh, see, I knew you'd react like this. I just want to make sure you're careful. That's all. I really need to get those like cover things for my laptop because this exact reason. He could be different than you think. Ignore that birthday. She's a Capricorn. Like me. January 19th, December 30th. His name is Malcolm Black. He's 18. He lives in Elmwood, which is about 80 miles from here, and he likes me. Short, tall, skinny, fat. Why does everything have to be about looks? Love is blind. Not everything. Guys, look at that Not laptop. Sure. Is a model. Guess who? Uh, Xander? Yeah, but keep guessing anyway. Xander. Oh, I can't fool you. You see right through my petty charade. He looks so Can we go into the bronze tonight? I want but to share. But missing out. I'm planning to be witty. I'm going to make fun of all the people who won't talk to me. That's nice. Have a good time. <laughs> she certainly looks perky. Yeah, color in the cheeks, bounce in the step. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not healthy. <laughs> this Malcolm guy, what's his deal? You can tell me you're not slightly weak. Okay. Slightly. slightly. I mean, just not knowing what he's really like. Or who he really is. I mean... Sure, he says he's a high school student, but I can say I'm a high school student. You are. I get your point. I get, I get your point. point. Oh, this guy could be anybody. He could be weird or crazy or old or he could be a circus freak. He's probably, probably a circus freak. freak. Okay, okay, what do we do? What are we doing? Sander, you get me started. We are totally overreacting. I overslept. So fifth period? What? Nothing. You're having an expression. I'm not. But if I was, you'd be saying, this just isn't like you. I thought you'd be happy for me. I just want you to be sure. To meet him face to face. Big deal if I blow off a couple classes. I thought you said you overslept. Malcolm said you wouldn't understand. Malcolm was right. Malcolm was right. Love that response. Always have, always will. I wanted to find out something about someone. If someone emailed me. Could I trace the letter? Well, is there a way to find out exactly where a letter and e-letter came from? I mean, the actual location of the computer. That's a challenge. Because, yeah. you see, Willow's got this boyfriend, Malcolm, and to tell you the truth, Leave I think... Leave Willow alone. Dave, are you Malcolm? Huh? Of course not. 
I've got work to do. So do I. What do I do? Kill her. Party. I really did. Kids really dig the library, don't you? We're literary. To read makes our speaking English good. We'll be going now. <laughs> we, uh, we'll uh, continue this conversation at another time. I think we're done. Makes our speaking English is good by pain, okay? I've never felt... Absolutely. I guess. I have to sign off. I'll talk to you later. Don't go. Don't. Bye. What is it, like a diary? She said she'd be in the, in the girls' locker room. Willow? Uh, Buffy, get out! I'm sorry, I've been a terrible person. Forgive me, Mom and Dad. At least now I brought Monica out as information to be absorbed. Stay away from Willow. It is none of your business. That's what Malcolm looks like. With my own two eyes. Hmm, so we kind of upgraded in a computer robot. Today. Willow. Silly girl. To be able to walk. To touch. To kill. To kill. You're not getting it, Rupert. We have to form the circle inside. I'm putting out a flash. I just hope enough of my group be my guest. Do people not like this episode? Because this is a good one, and I always like this episode, but I feel like... Well, season one is shitted on in general, which I also don't get. Like, I love how it's very, like, horror movie. I think Buffering the Vampire Slayer pointed that out. Like, very, like, Wes Craven-y. It's another Buffy podcast. <laughs> Almost there. Demon come! Ow! But it's enough to crush. Yeah. That'll do it. Well, you really are an old fashioned boy, aren't you? Well, I, I don't dangle a corkscrew from my head. That's not where I dangle it. <laughs> oh my god, guys, this is the best ending ever. The one boy that's really liked me, and he's a demon robot. What does that say about me? It doesn't say anything about you. Hey, did you forget the one boy I've had the hots for since I moved here? Turned out to be a vampire. Right, and the teacher I had a crush on? Giant praying mantis? That's true. Yeah, it's life on a hell mouth. Let's face it. None of us are ever going to have a happy, normal relationship. We're doomed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Woo! We're fucking doomed, bitches. We are doomed. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The Puppet Show. Still love this one as a child. It's not one of my faves now, I guess. Time to slay. <laughs> I love that Giles is the director. <laughs> so funny. I love this leather jacket on Buffy. The school talent show. However did you finagle such a primo assignment? I think maybe we better leave our Mr. Giles to this business he calls show. Principal Snyder. So, we think school events are stupid and we think authority figures ought to be made fun of. All three of you left campus yesterday. Yeah, but we were finding a demon. Fighting. Not fighting. I think I just found three eager new participants for the talent show. Woo! What? 
the last Oh my time. god, this is everyone's intro to Mr. Snyder. You guys are gonna love him, if you don't already know. Hey, dummy. I think dummies are cute. You don't? Uh, they give me the wig ever since I was little. What happened? I saw a dummy, it gave, gave me, me the, the wig. wig. There really oh. wasn't a story there. Hey, Morgan, <laughs> would you like to tell some jokes? I didn't sleep at all last night. All right, time out. Let's stop it before someone gets hurt. Kid, you are the worst. Even I can see you're this move. That's it. You're spoiling my act. I saw the dummy, gave me the wig. Not much of a story there. I love that bar. <laughs> you come up with that voice it's kind of an imitation of my dad sounds real it is real emily emily dancer emily what vampire uh, i think not her heart was removed yikes does that mean anything to you besides <laughs> there are various demons which would feed off human hearts but mystical activity is totally rife here this to me says demon. It could be anyone. It could be me. It's not. It's not though. <laughs> demon or no? It's just such a tragedy for me. Emma was like my best friend. Emily. <laughs> well, Morgan's just strange. He's always rubbing his head a lot and moaning. I think I saw him arguing with this dummy. All I can think is it could have been me. We can drink. So you didn't notice anything weird at... Oh. Morgan, are you okay? Look, sweetheart, he answered your question. Now leave him alone. Okay, Morgan, how about talking to me yourself now? He said all he's gonna say. <laughs> it's okay, Sid. We're done. It's him. He's... In the meantime, the show must go on. I'm obsessed with how the dress is the same length as the coat. Like, that's so 90s. Can we bring that back? Principal Snyder. What are you doing? There's something going on with you. Ah. I almost didn't see you there. It's kind of bright out. In the bed, in the covers, there's something. Where? There's something there. Are you sure you didn't have a nightmare? No, there's something. Sweetheart, you shouldn't go to sleep with the window. I didn't. I didn't. And my S lovely G. assistant, Dubs. I'm sorry. Um, your hair. There's something wrong with my hair. Sid was in my room last night. With Morgan? No, he was alone. Not alive. I'd like to see Morgan without his better half for a few minutes. Bet he could tell me something. Morgan? What? Morgan has other things on his mind. He'll get it back after school. I can't believe it, but I forgot what happens to this kid at the end. I think I know. It's gone. Gone? Cause like, he's really trouble. What do you mean, gone? Where could he have gone? Oh well, forgot that's it. That's okay. Now, why don't you go find Morgan and prove he's... whatever he is. I imagine he's looking for his puppet. I'll go find Morgan. <laughs>
sure they would have made great trophies for your case. That would have been justice. Yeah, except for one thing. You lost, and now you'll never be human. Yeah, well, neither will you. What? what? This is what I do. I hunt demons. And ever since then, you've been a living dummy? Because you thought I was the demon. Who can blame me for thinking? There were seven of these guys. I've killed six. If I can get the last one, the curse will be lifted and I'll be free. I'm sure it's someone in that stupid talent show. So once we know who's missing from the show... We'll know who our demon is. <laughs> I... I can't go out there. All those people staring at me and judging me like I'm some kind of... Buffy. Then uh, you should imagine the entire audience were in their underwear. Ew! Even Mrs. Franklin? <laughs> <laughs> what? And the curse is lifted, right? That's the drill. You don't actually turn into a prince, do you? I, I mean, your body... Is dust and bones. When I say free... You mean dead. Don't get sniffly on me, sis. Um, everybody, uh, get ready. <laughs> no one's missing. So the demon isn't in the show. <laughs> A good magician never tells his secrets. And Giles can handle himself. I mean, he is really... smart. Perfect. Sh sh shouldn't it be aimed at my neck? No. So this way, your scalp gets sliced off, and your brains just come pouring out. What is it? A ruler of my country, Oedipus. You see our company around the altar, and I, the priest of Zeus. Ha ha. They <laughs> prophesied that I should kill my father, but he is dead and hidden deep in the soil. But surely I must fear my mother's bed. Oh, Oedipus, Oedipus. Oedipus. Darkness and horror of darkness. Madness and. Madness and stabbing pain and. and um, oh. Here we are with Buffy the Vampire Slayer, episode 10, Nightmare. Wonder if this is a nightmare. Ooh. Great shot. I would love that steak. Guys, I have a steak collection. I should show you guys my Buffy collection. Slayer. Buffy, wake up! No. No. no! Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm fine. I spoke with your father. He's coming, right? You're on for this weekend. When did they get divorced? It wasn't finalized till last year, but they were separated before that. My parents don't even bicker. Sometimes they glare. Do you know why your folks split up? I didn't ask. I just stopped getting along. Sure, I was a really big help, though. With all the slang and everything, I was in so much trouble. I was a big mess. Well, I'm sure that didn't have anything to do with him leaving. No. Hello, doofus. You're in, You're in my light. Wendell, what is wrong with you? 
Don't you know that she is the center of the universe and the rest of us merely revolve around her? Hey, of course. Why do you involve yourselves out of my life. <laughs> All right, take your seats. In a moment, we will choose partners and practice what we read about in chapter five. That's good. Good, Xander. That's the spirit. Before we do, let's review. Shelter is to be heard. 178, where Isaacson describes the rapid. <laughs> <laughs> I feel Sorry like, about that. like that had to be real, right? I wonder how the actor actually felt about that. He must have like been casted to be able to do that. But also like screaming, like how do you know like how the spider is gonna react to like, screaming? I hate something is happening above. I feel change. Yes, for the worse. I love when they do that. I didn't sleep well. I'll say. I came in to check on you twice. You were yelling in your sleep. Do you know Poor what you were doing? Joyce. Not really. Oh no, my bag. I, I packed it for the weekend and I forgot it. You and your dad can swing by the house and get your bag. It's not an international crisis. Okay. He's picking me up here, right? At, at 3.30? Honey, I, I, are you worried your father isn't going to show? No. I, I just, I know it's a hard situation. You just have to remember that your father adores you. Have a great day. Thanks. Ah, oh, the spiders. And Sticky love Buffy's jacket. What do they need all those legs for anyway? I'm not worried. If there's something bad out there, we'll find. You'll slay. We'll party. We'll party. Jira, let's not forget the spiders. No, Giles said he was going to look it up. Giles? Hey, Giles. Wakey, wakey. 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 I was uh, in the stacks. I got lost. lost. I couldn't find anything uh, particularly illuminating. Um, I think perhaps you'd best have a chat with Fendel himself. Okay. You can still talk. I don't know what to say about that. There's nothing to say. You saw 200 insects. You gonzoed. Anybody would have. They're not insects. They're arachnids. Spiders are arachnids. They have eight yeah. legs. Insects only have six. Why does everyone make that mistake? When I was a kid, he actually Has taught me like that. anything like this ever happened before? <laughs> I, like, literally know that because of this. When? Lots of times. You must hate spiders more than I do. I only hate spiders. I love them. They hate they me. They hate me. Oh, I hope you study for the history test. What history test? The one we're having in fourth period right now. There's a history test? Nobody told me there's a history test. I haven't, I... Okay, I will catch up with you guys later. Ugh, hated the written part. So scary. I do not miss tests. Like, what are you testing me for? Will you stop out? Okay, don't worry about it. Lucky 19. It's what he said right before he said Lucky 19. Well, the first one's still in a coma. First what? First victim. They found him a week ago. Exact same memo as the girl, only he's in worse shape. Somebody's got to stop this guy. Somebody will. Somebody will. Oh, there was just it's like a Sunnydale party well, last there. night I'm of filming saying, this. And like, I gotta exactly go. I've been to Sunnydale High School, admit, Torrance High School, but I gotta go to one of the events one day. There is a connection. It doesn't sound like anything. What? Xander, what happened here? I don't know. I was. I mean, at least he has his boxers on. It's gotta be a dream. happening. Did you find anything? Love Buffy's outfit. You Love don't her hair. Didn't find anything. So current. So timeless. What do you mean? It can be like three languages. Five, actually, on a normal day. The, the words here don't make any sense. It's Kid I've been seeing around school. Twelve-year-old Billy Palmer was found beaten and unconscious after his kitty league game Saturday. Billy. He says he's in a coma in intensive care. This is the boy from the hospital. 
There's astral projection, uh, the theory that while one sleeps, one has another body, an, an astral body, which can travel through time and space. Billy's in a coma. That's like sleep, right? Ted, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to pick me up till after school. Is something wrong? Well, I, I need to talk to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Dad, this is Mr. Giles, the librarian. Uh, this is my dad, Hank Summers. Let's sit down. Uh, you're old enough now to know the truth. Was there someone else? No. No, it was nothing like that. Then what was it? It was you. Me? Having you, raising you, seeing you every day. I mean, do you have any idea what that's like? Do you get in trouble? Do you embarrass us with all the crazy stunts you pull? And do I have to go on? No. Please don't. Please don't. You're sullen and rude, and you're not nearly as bright as I thought you were going to be. Why are you saying this to me? <laughs> hey, Bubby, let's be honest. Could you stand to live in the same house with a daughter like that? Why are you saying all these things? Because they're true. I don't really get anything out of these weekends with you. What do you say we just don't do them anymore? So rough. I sure thought you'd turn out differently. The single tear, she's so amazing. Like, how did she do that? It's Billy, bitch. Except the part with me waking up going, it's all a dream. Like it happened to Wendell. That thing with the spiders. Wendell had a recurring dream about The that. calendar says dream. April. I got lost in the stacks. 97, could you imagine? I couldn't Our dreams are coming true. Dreams? Oh, nightmares. It would be a musical comedy version of this. Nightmares. Our, our nightmares are coming true. So why is this happening? Billy. Well, that explanation was shorter than usual. Billy. It's Billy. Who's Billy? He's a boy in the local hospital. He was beaten. He's in a coma. Somehow, I think he's crossed over from the nightmare world he's trapped in. And he brought the nightmare world with him. Thanks, Thanks about so much, Billy. Billy. When I was Things like that. a little child, I loved that his name was Billy because, like, they were saying my name, like, shut up. There's also, like, an angel episode called Billy. Joss Whedon used the word, the name Billy a lot. When you live in a home, well, um, and there's literally a Billy the Vampire Slayer in the comic series. Like, it's just, I'm chosen, guys. I really am. <gasps> I don't understand. This can't be happening. I was just at this long. <laughs> Gotcha. Billy? Are you Billy Palmer? I'm Billy. Why are you here? Did something bad happen to you after your game? I, I don't remember. Do you remember playing baseball? Yeah. Are you lucky 19? That's what he calls me. Who? The ugly man. He wants it's crazy to kill that this little boy that girl. is older than me. Why does he want to kill you, Billy? He's. Billy, it's okay. What? Just tell me. He's here! Oh. Oh. The parrot will be fine. That would be faster if we split up to look for him. Good idea. Faster, but not really safer. Billy! I'm sorry, I can't help it. Who is he? He's the ugly man. He's too strong. I can't fight him. We have to hide. No, he'll find us. Yes, but we have to hide. That's how it happens. We hide, and then he comes. Dude, he's so don't understand. Oh yeah, look at those plaid pants. <laughs> Cordelia's having a really hard time. <laughs> it's not Buffy. Buffy? When you lose, it's bad. Did you lose your game last week? It was my fault. I missed a ball when I should have caught it. You missed one ball and the whole game was your fault? You were the only one playing, there wasn't eight other people on your team? He said it was my fault. Who said? Billy, did he hurt you after the game? Can we go another way to find your friends? Sure. Bad idea. Run. This way, come on. I hope you warmed up. It's an ugly crowd out there tonight. <laughs> My turn. Oh, this I is love scary. Bars. Chocolate hurricane. I haven't had one of these since my sixth 
birthday. <laughs> birthday. <laughs> I wonder who died. Nobody died. This is the Slayer. You're prettier than the last one. Your nightmares are made flesh. You have little Billy to thank for that. I really think for 1997, like his, even now, like his makeup is, is so dream. good. A dream is a wish. Wish your, your heart, heart makes. <laughs> Come on, Slayer. What are you afraid of? <laughs> How about being buried alive? No, 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 please, no, no! Ooh. Did you find I had to sing very bad to well, sing. Come on. What happened to you? Remember my sixth birthday party? <laughs> oh, yeah, when the clown chased you and you got so scared that you went, oh. <laughs> Honestly, this is iconic. Like, really, like, good boy, Xander. You were a lousy clown. Your balloon animals were pathetic. He faced his fear. I think he's like the only one to do that. I feel good. I feel liberated. When did they put a cemetery in across the street? And when did they make it night over there? I should have been more cautious, but you were so gifted. So cool. Buffy? Thought I was dead. Buffy, your face! This is also so cool that we get to see her in the film face. Don't look at me. I believe that the nightmares will stop and reality will shift back into place, but we must do it now. I need you to hold together long enough to help us. Can you do that? Yeah, I think I can. Well, we better hurry. So I'm, getting, I'm getting hungry. hungry. Are you sure everything will go back once he's awake? Oh, uh, positive. Well, how do we wake Billy up? What if we can't? Well, no. Do, do you shut, shut up. up. <laughs> Billy, you have to wake up. No, I told her. I have to hide. Why? From what? From him. It's so cool that because oh, she's man, a vampire, now she has vampire strength and slayer strength, that like she's able to slay that bitch. Glad you showed up. Lucky 19. Scary. I'll tell you something though. There are a lot scarier things than you. Me. And, and I'm one of them. them. Billy, I don't. You have to do the rest. Face it, Billy. What are they doing? I get it. Maybe Xander says he gets no, it hiding. because he faced his fear and like it stopped. That's interesting. I never thought of that. <sighs> Yay. Wakey, He's wakey. I had the strange dream. You were in it. And you? Who are you? Wizard of Oz. Oh, Billy's got company. I I'm his kitty league coach. He's uh, my lucky 19. <laughs> How is he? He's awake. He's awake. What? Blamed him for losing the game. So you caught up with him afterwards, didn't you? <laughs> what are you talking this about? This is so fucked. He said it was my fault that we lost. He beat this kid into a coma. There's eight other players, the players on the team. team. You know you that. Know that. And he's gonna roll his eyes. Gel. Nice going. Just can't believe a kiddie league coach would do something like that. Hi! Have a killer weekend, guys. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, it's so good to see you. When Buffy was a vampire, you weren't still, like, attracted to her, were you? Willow, how can you... I mean, that's really bent. She was... grotesque. <laughs> I still dug her home. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm sick. I need help. Don't I know it. Ah, uh, the scoops. I just got chills. I just love springtime. Me at the end of school dance. The end of school? I am, of course, having my dress specially made. Off the rack gives me a high. Well, let me guess. Blue like your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> my, my eyes are hazel. I like color. <laughs> oh. Oh my eyes are Hazel, Hazel Helen, Helen Keller. Keller. Poor Buffy. Behold the weirdness. She is always 
was hanging with that creepy librarian and that creepy, that creepy library. library. I don't know why the school admits missiles like her. <laughs> Shall we not revenge? I love this teacher. Okay. Well, how about color me totally self-involved? Care to elaborate? Yeah. With Shylock, it's wine, wine, wine. Like, the whole world is about him. He acts like it's justice, him getting a pound of Antonia's flesh. It's not justice, it's Yiki. <laughs> but has Shylock suffered? People who think their problems are so huge craze me. Like this time, I sort of ran over this girl on her bike. It was the most traumatizing event of my life. life. And she's and trying, she's to, trying make to make it about her leg. leg. Like, my pain meant nothing. Well, Cordelia's raised an interesting point here. I want to talk to you about my final paper. Why don't you stop by tomorrow after school? We'll go over it then. That'd be great. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> I'm out. Oh, like, ow. Now remember who to vote for for May Queen. Has in me. Thanks. Here's a chocolate. Oh. I don't think I need the loony fringe vote. Well, I don't eat. I don't I even like, like chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> okay, that was the lamest comeback of our times. <laughs> so what's Cordelia up to? Yeah, what kind of moron about May Queen anyway? I was at my old school. Well, we didn't call it May Queen, but we had the coronation and the dance and all that stuff. It was nice. Mitch, what happened? I don't know. I tried to grab a a bat. It, it... What hit you? The bat. Where do you think you're going? Mitch wanted me to get his comb. He, he likes his comb. I don't think Mitch needs his comb right now. I think Mitch needs medical attention. Gonna sue the school? Sue? Who? Buffy's hair like fire. Well, his dad is. Look, that's all it said? Look at Mitch? Maybe. All I know is it's a message. Uh, an invisible creature and um, or possibly a poltergeist. A ghost? Yes, and a very angry one. Yeah, I'd say. You should have seen him lying there, all black and blue. How's he gonna look in our prom pictures? How am I ever gonna be able to show them to anyone? Well, they can do wonderful things with airbrushes these days. You think? Hi. Hi. Did you see Mitch? He just broke up with Wendy eight seconds ago and he's already nosing around. Hi, hey guys. What do you want? I just hope they can prop him up long enough to take the picture. Three. Cordelia, can I talk to you? Two. Oh, great. Why is she always trying to- One. Oh my god. So freaking painful. Standing at the top of the stairs and she just fell all by herself. No, I was pushed. <laughs> Ow! Don't sue. Mm. Anybody here? Okay, I know someone's here. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I just want to talk to you. Charles, have you ever touched a ghost? Uh, no, from what I've heard, uh, having a, a ghost pass through you is a, a singular experience. Is, uh... I touched the thing, but it didn't go through me. It bumped into me. How'd she get it? Is she a witch? Because we can fight a witch. She's got a grudge. But why Harmony? Harmony and Mitch, the common denominator is... Cordelia. First thing tomorrow, why don't you pull up that missing kids list? I think Cordelia's gonna be working on her May Queen dress tonight. Maybe there'll be some action. You may have to work on listening to people. Very funny. I thought so. Is it long enough, or...? I love that Buffy smiling at that. Isn't it beautiful? Could you imagine? Who's there? Oh, Angel. Oh. That's pretty scary. Vampire casts no reflection. Is that why you're here? To see her? I can't. A vampire in love with a slayer. You're the poetic. You're the poetic. What can I do for you? I know you've been researching the master. I'm trying to learn as much as I can about him for the day that Buffy must face him. Something's already in motion, something big, but I don't know what. You've read all the Slayer lore there is, right? I've studied all the extant volumes, of course. The most salient books of Slayer prophecy have been lost. Complete prophecies about the Slayer's role in the end years. Unfortunately, the book was lost in the 15th century. Not lost. Misplaced. I can get it. Hmm. <gasps> Bingo. It would be most helpful. Invisible girl terrorizing the school. It's not really my area of expertise. <laughs> Nor mine, I'm afraid. Fascinating, though. Oh, so cute. By all accounts, it's a... Uh... Come on, I am never sitting through another one of those alumni lectures again. There is nobody caring. And so did you guys see his toupee? I mean, it looked like a cabin. I swear, he had three slides and just used them over and over. <laughs> I know, but did you see his toupee? I mean, it was like worms. <laughs> We're talking, okay? Oh, and did you guys check out that extreme what toupee? A bitch. Yeah, that's realistic. It looked like a cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's my responsibility. The last night when I was hunting, I heard this flute, but I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. And it was in the band room that I lost Miss Invisible yesterday. You know, this all tracks. I'm gonna check it out. See you guys later. Don't touch my flutey, bitch. Mercy rocks. So fucked up, and this is so fucked up. Oh shit, I just remembered something. Miss Miller, okay? She's alive, guys. Listen. It's where I found this. Have a nice summer. Have a nice summer. This girl had no friends at all. Have a nice summer is what you write when you have nothing to say. Never matter why. Because you both wrote it too. Have a nice yeesh. Where am I? Have a great summer. Oh. Have a great summer? See, I cared. You guys don't remember her? Each had four classes with her last year. I think I speak for everyone here when I say huh. Huh? Rudimentary concept that the reality is shaped, even even created by our perception. And with the Hellmouth below us sending out mystical energy. People perceived Marcy as, as, as invisible and, 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 and she became so. So, fun fact. Well, Joss Whedon, when he was in high school, the creator of the show, drew a picture of him looking at his hand fade away. Which is so sad and deep. Absolutely. And like just so creative. And he literally created this episode off the concept of him looking at his hand fade away and that's where this was born for people that are really like lonely like that just is really sad and like it's just so deep and relatable and wrap it in a supernatural bow and it's why this show is so fucking amazing just what we thought cordelia i know we've had our differences with you being so weird and all and hanging out with these totem losers. Despite all of that, I know that you share this feeling that we have for each other. Somebody is after me. They just tried to kill Mrs. Miller. She was helping me with my homework. And Mitch and Harmony. This is all about me. Me, me, me. Wow, she's for once she's right. right. So like, that's so fucking amazing. And I know you're very strong and you've got all those weapons. I was kind of hoping you were in a gang. <laughs> Please, I don't have anyone else to turn to. <laughs> I'm so dead. Oh, I love this. Cordelia sitting with the Scoobies. This is so oh, cool. Oh no, Cordelia, your attacker is an invisible girl. Well, I don't care what it is, just get rid of it. Now, do you have any idea why she'd be so... God, is she really wearing Laura Ashley? I have no idea. I've never seen this girl before in my life. I now have two messages from Marcy. Look and listen. From what you did to Cordelia's picture, I would say that she's wigged on the whole May Queen thing. Maybe she's gonna do something about it. Stop the coronation tonight, maybe. Nothing is keeping me from the bronze tonight. If I'm not crowned tonight, then then Marcy's won. Cordelia has a point. Buffy's with me on this. Continuing the normal May Queen activities may be the best way to draw Marcy out. Bait? Am, am I really bait? It's awful to feel that lonely. Hmm. So you've read something about the feeling? Hey, you think I'm never lonely because I'm so cute and popular? I can be surrounded by people and be completely alone. And again, it's not like any of them really know. Just me. makes you feel for like the villains. These characters are just so fully fleshed. I need to write after this. Sometimes when I talk, everyone's so busy agreeing with me, they don't hear a word I say. Well, if you feel so alone, then why do you work so hard at being popular? Well, it beats being alone all by yourself. Shh. Listen. Come on. Perhaps reason with her. Possibly grab her. There are three of us. Let's go. Looks okay. Hurry. Mercy, we know what happened to you. Please, can we talk to you? Again, genius. Can you say, go. Go. Oh my god. What's that sound? Cordelia? Cordelia? Okay, muscles. It's gas. Well, she snuffed out the part of that. I can't find the shuttle, Phil. Cordelia! Cordelia! 
What is she doing? I don't know. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm disappointed. I really hope you guys have figured it out by now. She has such a great voice, this actor, for this role. Why don't you explain it? Yeah, what do you want to teach us? You don't get it. You're not a student. You have a lesson. What did you do to my face? Your beautiful face. So it makes you shine just a little bit brighter than the rest of us. What are you doing? I'm fulfilling your fondest wish. I'm gonna give you a face no one will ever forget. Marcy, you know this is wrong. You should have stayed out of my way. You should be grateful. I mean, people who pass you on the street are gonna remember you for the rest of their lives. Wait! No, we really have to get started. Okay, Sarah. So sick. We need an angel. Let me see. I'm sure you can just be with all your friends and feel so alone because they don't really know you. You've all spoiled little brat and you think you can charm your way out of this, don't you? Isn't that what you think? <laughs> Got an angel. Get Willow first. I came into the basement. I smelled the gas. Buffy! <laughs> Pretty good sound effects. Pretty good. Shut up. Moron. I'm invisible. Pretty shut up. Great to have her come around to the camera. Perfect. I see you. Everybody, stay where you are. Pardon? FBI, nobody move. We'll take it from here now, Major. Major Doyle's agent Minetti. We're here for the girl. Rehabilitator. In time, she'll learn to be a useful member of society again. So cool. Very useful. This isn't the first time this has happened, is it? Hi. I guess I just want to say thank you, all of you. It's funny because she looks hair. like all of you. You really helped me out yesterday, and you didn't have to. It's OK. <laughs> Listen, we were going to grab lunch in a minute if you wanted to. Well, you're not hanging with these losers, are you? Are you kidding? <laughs> I was just being charitable, helping them with their fashion problems. <laughs> you think I really felt like joining that social lever colony? Please. Boy, where is an invisible girl when you really need one? I love this. You should be happy here. You should fit right in. Welcome, Marcy. Hey. Class, this is Marcy. Hey, Mars. Okay, class, let's get started. Everybody turn to page 54 of your tests. <laughs> cool. cool. So fucking cool. All right, Slayers, this is Prophecy Girl, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, first season finale. It's such a good one. If you know, you know. Let's get into it. You know how I feel about you. Pretty Pretty obvious. Obvious. Good friends, and it's time to take the next step. Would you um Is that date me? Date me? Oh, that's good. It's terrible, right? Huh? Why is it so hard? I should just walk up to her and say, hey, I like you. Let's go to the dance together. Direct and to the point. Why didn't Buffy show up tonight? What's she doing? Slaying. You know, the usual. Little slow-mo. <laughs> oh, it's like the that's only slow-mo we got, honestly. Someone's out there. People need to listen to Cordy more. I love this dramatic build up to the quickest slay of the century. <laughs> the library. My car. Uh oh, an earthquake. <laughs> oh my god. Yes! This is time. We are in the final day! I went hunting last night, and it is awfully sweet of you to ask. I killed three vampires last night. One of them was practically on school grounds. Look, I'm not loving it. Last night was a pretty close call. Yes. Giles care? I'm putting my life on the line battling the undead. Look, I broke a nail, okay? The least you could do is exhibit some casual interest. You could go, hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm That's bored. such a I, Buffy I, um, moment. I just can't really talk right now. Fine. That's okay. I can't put it off any longer. I have to meet my terrible fate. What? Biology. 
Ugh, girl, you don't even know. You're 16 years old. Even I was bored, and I'm a science nerd. Don't, don't say, say that. that. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> it's the computer age. Nerds are in. Yeah. They're still in, right? Willow, don't you have a thing? Buffy, I wanted this to. This is um, so. I can't sit through this with you guys. I hate that it's like she, she doesn't get it until right now. <sighs> I don't know what to say. Well, you're not laughing, so that's a good start. True. You either feel a thing or you don't. I don't. I don't. Forget it. I'm not him. Just cut, 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 cut. Make time with you. Really that's very harsh. harsh. I don't handle rejection well. <sighs> Funny. Considering all the practice I've had, huh? I can think of if like Buffy and Willow talk about this. Like obviously they do, but like in the show. <laughs> Jenny, I missed you. Come after Sunday. You know that outfit looks just like the one you wore yesterday. This is the apocalypse stuff. I need you to talk to him. Find out everything he knows. Just do it. I'll explain later. You better. We'll bring everything to the bronze and I'll meet you there in the morning. Done. <laughs> You're so sweet. Why are you so sweet? I don't know. Because I'm usually mean as a snake. Hot. Uh, Willow. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Willow. I really like your outfit. No, you don't. If you could just show up tomorrow morning, I'd be really, really grateful. Sure. <laughs> Great. Tomorrow at 10? How'd it go? On a, On a scale, scale of 1 to 10, 10, it sucked. At least now you know. Yeah, you're right. Be my date. We'll, we'll have a great time. We'll dance. We'll go wild. What do you say? No. Good. What? What? You think I want to go to the dance with you and watch you wish you were at the dance with her? I'll see you on Monday. That's okay. That's so go home? harsh for Willow. Lie down. My high school bitches. <laughs> This jacket. I need that steak. That's like the one that you could buy like as a replica. <gasps> Bloody hell. Child, you are not gonna believe this. It's clear. It's, it's what's oh gonna shit. Happen. Sarah Michelle Gellar should have won an Emmy for this scene. I forgot who said that, but it's the fucking truth. I think it was Evan Katz. Tomorrow night, Buffy will face the master and she will die. <laughs> The acting. So that's it, huh? Buffy, yeah. To say how he's gonna kill me? Get over it. her. <laughs> Don't touch me! Some way around it. I've got a way around it. I quit. I quit. It's not that simple. I resign. I, I'm fired. The signs indicate. Signs? Read me, Read me the signs! Tell me my fortune! Do you think I could stand it? We just gotta figure out a way. I already did. I, I quit. quit. Remember, Remember pay, pay attention. attention. If the master rises, I don't care. Charles, I'm 16 years old. I don't want to die. Iconic. I saw you eyeing it at the store. I figured, no, we can't afford this. It's beautiful. I'm not mad. He totally flaked on me, on me, and I, I don't even care. God help me. I think it's cute. It's cute. Oh, there they are. They're watching, watching cartoons. cartoons. That's so. That's so that's that is not, not cute. cute. That's annoying. <laughs> I'm annoyed. I hear you. Obviously, Kevin has underestimated the power of my icy stare. <laughs> oh my god, Kevin! So messed up. I like forget how like I watched this on a loop, so like I forget how like dark it is. Like these are kids and a high school dad in a classroom. I'm trying to think how to say it to explain it so you understand. It doesn't matter as long as you're okay. I go to that room every day. And when I walked in there, it wasn't our world, world anymore. They made it theirs. What are we gonna do? What we have, what we to, have do. to do. What would Buffy do? Slay. You'll stay in tonight, okay? Mm-hmm. Buffy. I like your dress. I like your dress. Okay, so this master guy tried to open the hell mouth. But he got stuck in it. And now all the signs are reading that he's going to get out, which opens the hell mouth, which brings the demons, which ends the world. Yeah, the part that gets me, though, is where Buffy is the vampire slayer. She's so little. So I'm looking for a kid, huh? And he'll lead me to the master? I've made up my mind. So have I. I made up mine first. <laughs> I'm older and wiser than you, and just do what you're told for once, all right? That's not how it goes. I'm, I'm the slayer. I defy prophecy, and I'm going. There's nothing you can say will change my mind. I know. Pop. <laughs> Oof. 
When he wakes up, tell him. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's something cool. Tell him I said it. You fight the master and you'll die. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll take him with me. Sick, bro. It's okay. It's okay. I know who you are. Uh, I'm sorry to bring this up, but we also have an apocalypse to worry about. Do you mind? How come she's in the club? Hey. <laughs> Once the master gets free, the hell mouth opens, the demons come to party, and everybody dies. Right now, I gotta help Buffy. We don't even know where she's gone, but I can find out. See, like, Xander is a good friend through his Xanderness. Mind if I come in? Take me to him. <laughs> You're way out of your league, kid. How can I say this clearly? I don't, I don't like, like you. you. At the end of the day, I pretty much think you're a vampire. But Buffy's got this big old yin for you. She thinks you're a real person. And right now I need you to prove you're right. Hey, I'm over there. Aren't you? Aren't you? Here's my question. The hell, hell mouth, mouth opens. opens. Where? If he's underground and it's right where he is, where's it gonna open? Good point. Iconic. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. The feeble banter portion of the fight. Why don't we just cut to the end? Sick. Nice shot. You're looking at my neck. What? <laughs> you're checking at my neck. I saw that. No, it wasn't. Just keep your distance. Keep your distance, pal. pal. I told you he'd be far left. <laughs> you're not going to kill me with that thing. I mean, it really wouldn't be my weapon of choice. Vampires have been gathering. They know he's coming. There will be his army. The prom. We have to warn them. No, we'll go. You have to concentrate on demon. <gasps> oh my god. They're not, They're not going to the bronze. <laughs> I feel like powers like that are so cheap. But they're powerful. Buffy will... Face the master, and she will die. It was no Buffy. You heard the prophecy that I was about to break free, and you came to stop me. They don't tell you everything. You are the one that sets me free. If you hadn't come, I couldn't go. Think about that. Oh, God. The power. The power. That little the bitty bite. I like your like dress. I wonder if they just had to like, cut time because that was such a little bite. It's too late. He's going up. Oh, She's, She's dead. dead. Could you imagine? She's not dead. She's not breathing. What if she drowned? There's a shot. CPR. You have to do it. I have no breath. Come on. Come on. Why are they coming here? Don't carry. Get in. <gasps> Buffy. <coughs> Welcome back. Yes. We gotta get to the library. The library. Great. We're back in business. I mean, if they could lift those things up, theirs aren't heavy to hold the door back. Wow! I love this show. So how do you know where the master's going? I know. Oh, look, a bad guy. See how you like it. You're dead. You're dead. I may be dead, but I'm still pretty. Which is more than I can say for you. You were destined to die. It was, it was written. written. What can I what say? Can I say? I flunked, I flunked the written. <laughs> Great screams, Jenny. Did you really think you could best me here when you couldn't below? You have fruit punch, Mel. What? <laughs> I hate that stay. Like, will you laugh when my hell is on earth? Feel 
that amped about hell. Go there. Go there. Pretty legendary if you ask me. All in a day's work. The piano version of the theme song. Master. Dead. Her mouth is closed. Been a really weird day. Yeah, Buffy died and everything. Wow. Harsh. She said it wouldn't stop you. We saved the world. I say we party. We got all pretty. Got all pretty. And what about him? He's not going anywhere. Lives yes, there. By the way, I really like it. Yeah, yeah. We get with everyone. <laughs> Don't fuck with the Slayer. Slayers, we made it to the end. We slayed those demons. We went through the laughs, the hard times, but we beat the big bad. That was really fun. I plan to continue the series here and there, like when I'm just feeling like it, nothing like too crazy, more like fan demanded perhaps. If no one's asking me, I'll probably just do it at my own pace, but it will come, but to hold you guys over, I will be reacting to the Audible series Slayers very soon, so make sure you guys subscribe, like, hit the bell notification so you know every time I post. Follow me at BillyCarneyXO on all social media. I really want to try to be a Twitch person, so follow me on Twitch. I need to become an affiliate. I need 50 Slayers, guys. I need a lot. Okay. So, yeah, this is my favorite show, guys, and I hope you liked it, who's not seen it before, and who have, I hope you had fun revisiting it with Billy the Vampire Slayer. I'll see you on the next one. It's Billy, bitch. Ha! <sighs>